and we're delighted to bring you the first of our two press conferences today here in Dublin. So many great fighters, so many great fights on the card as well. Our Before the Bell section just below, two tremendous All-Irish fights between John Cooney and Liam Gaynor and Jamie Morrissey against Emmett Brennan who bring you all the action. One of the top 130 pounders in the world, Zelfa Barrett, and of course Giorgio Vizioli, two division national champion, will make his professional debut on the card. And Giorgio, you got the nod, we're starting with you. Um, over from, of course, the UK, incredible amateur pedigree, part of a huge night of boxing, ready to kick off your professional career on Saturday night. Yeah, I'm very excited. You know, it's been a, it's been a while now and um, I'm looking forward to put a massive performance on and uh, showcase my talent to the, to the world. You've seen so many of your amateur counterparts turn pro. Why did you feel now was, was the time for you to do it? Um, I think I won a lot in the, in the, um, in the UK scene and um, GB decided not to take me after I won two double weights at senior and um, it was the right time to go. I didn't, and GB took the weight out, um, my way out of the Olympics, so um, I decided to go pro and I think it's the best time to as well. Looking obviously for plenty of activity, but probably didn't think you'd be fighting in Dublin for your professional debut, Katie Taylor and Chantel Cameron card, but great atmosphere and they'll be there early as they were last time. Great way to kick off. Yeah, it's a great card to be on and um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to putting a great performance and uh, it's exciting times now. Well, remember the name, Giorgio Vizioli, future star of the sport. We go to our first of our two All-Irish fights, John Cooney against Liam Gaynor, our good friend Mark Dunlop. I said to Mark, Mark, give us an Irish war, will you? So he says, I've got one for you. John Cooney against Liam Gaynor. John, we'll start with you. Mark tells me all action, going to bring a tremendous fight on Saturday night. Yeah, 100% and that's why I'm going to bring all action. I've seen you the last few weeks and people need to be in exciting fights and that's exactly what I'm going to bring Saturday night, 100%. Your opponent, Liam Gaynor, obviously both of you got so much to gain on this card. You know, lots of eyeballs as well and, and the, the aim for you, victory, and then move on to big fights. Yeah, that's it. Look, it's life-changing for the two of us, you know. A win here changes both our lives, but... Unfortunately for him, it's, it's only a win for me Saturday night and that's it. And I'm moving on to big fights in the £130 division and I want, I want all the big names. I want big domestic fights next year coming for the, all the titles. Yeah, 100%. Liam, confident opponent, but again, a massive opportunity for you and uh, ready to go on Saturday night. Yeah, definitely. Um, this is my big opportunity that I've working towards of taking these big tests over the last year or so and now's my time to put on a show Saturday night for everyone. Expected Mark Dunlop told us no lies, ready to entertain on Saturday night and kick us off on a huge night in if, style. If you've watched and me fights, Eddie, <laughs> you're expecting a war. Good. Well, we look forward to that. Between you two, John Cooney and Liam Gaynor, talk about another tremendous fight in just his second professional fight. Emmett Brennan takes on Jamie Morrissey. <laughs> Jamie, we'll start with you. Um, again, this is a tremendous fight. A lot of people are talking about massive opportunity for you against Emmett Brennan on Saturday night. 100% a great opportunity. Um, I'm grateful to be here. It's brilliant, uh, but it's about capitalising. Um, but a great guy to earn my position here. This is my uh, fifth domestic fight in seven fights. I came through that with uh, two of those belts you see uh, with big Thomas Carthy up there. And uh, this is going to be my fourth undefeated record I'm taking. So I earned my spot here by the grace of God. It's good to be here, but I have to capitalise. I'm not here, uh, like I said in my debut, to make up the numbers. I'm here to change my career. So uh, good to see everyone. Like I said, I'm grateful, but I'm here to capitalise. We know you've got a, a big fighting background, obviously now. Boxing is, is your focus as well. A tough opponent for you, well-schooled, great amateur pedigree, but just his second professional fight on Saturday. Yeah, I have a healthy respect for uh, Emmett's abilities. I don't look at him. I look at him as a mere man. Um, and I look at him no different than any of my past opponents. Um, I have I'm been wrote off. The bookies are writing me off. Um, like I said, I aren't my place here. I don't know. Yeah, maybe people are overlooking me. But I have what matters, and that is uh, complete self-belief uh, and real belief in myself that I'm going to go and get this job done. And I have to get it done. Like I said, I'm not here to make up the numbers. I'm here to capitalise, change my career, and by the grace of God, I've never felt more ready. I'm here and I'm ready to go. Emmett, welcome. Just your second pro fight. It was a slow burner after your incredible amateur career and the Olympics as well, but moving at a very fast pace and you know you got a tough one on Saturday night. Yeah, so the plan was always to move fast. Jamie's obviously Irish Celtic champion. 
it made sense to go after him. What I think is going to happen on Saturday night, you got two lads that's going to go toe-to-toe. Um, the Irish public, they're in for a treat. I know we're on early. I was hoping to be on a little bit later, but what I'd say to the Irish public that's going to the fight on Saturday night, make sure you're here for this fight. Obviously, you said you expect a, a tough first few rounds, but you think your pedigree and your engine could even force a late stoppage in this fight? Yeah, 100%. I'm confident. Um, eight rounds is nothing to me. We've seen in the past, Jamie's been in wars, but he's faded towards the end of them. If that happens in this fight, make no doubt about it. I will capitalise on it. And finally, I know you will be on early, but as I said, it was packed early on from the first bell last time around and huge support for you. You sold a, a huge amount of tickets for this fight on Saturday. Yeah, we sold a huge amount of tickets, but look, Jamie's from Limerick and Paddy's on the show as well. So this, for me, this is the fight that is going to be the big one on the undercard. you got Limerick versus Dublin fans. The, the fight itself has the potential to be toe to toe, back and forth. So this is going to be huge. Yeah, I've sold 650 tickets, so they'll all be there from half five onwards. Uh, Emmett Brennan against Jamie Morrissey. Good luck to you boys on Saturday night. Zelfa Barrett, welcome back. Um, fairly late addition to the card. Very important for you to get out and get active again before a massive fight at the beginning of 2024, which we have planned. You've jumped on a, a huge card. You've got a tricky little fight on Saturday. We've seen this kid fight before. He's all action, but a good way to get up and blow the cobwebs off before a massive fight in 2024. Yeah, of course. You know, um, Costa Young, you know, he's not, he's not a slouch. He comes to win, so... You know, but I believe in myself and I believe in world class, so my performance will be spectacular. Really, a little bit of a frustrating couple of months. We've been looking for those big fights, haven't yet materialised. We, we move forward for them in 2024. But as far as you're concerned, ready for anyone in the 130 pound division. We saw you in a tremendous fight with Rakimov, which you took at pretty much late notice. A good win since then as well. But ready for any of those titles in the division? I'm ready for anyone. Um, I'll speak to Frank Smith and Steve Wood on FaceTime. Doesn't matter where it is, Timbuktu, you know, I'll fight anyone, anywhere. If it's with the right time, the right notice with, for the right thing, you know, I'll fight anyone. I believe in myself, so any name, anybody, they can get it. Well, thanks, Zelfa. And gentlemen, on the before the bell section, we go up to the top table. Uh, tremendous fights in the top table, particularly the WBC Interim World Championship between Sky Nicholson and Lucy Wildheart. The winner of this fight going to put them in a great position for the mandatory position, of course, Amanda Serrano owns all the belts at 126 pounds. Lucy, welcome. Um, smiling away in front of the media earlier. Massive opportunity for you on this card. A great fight and, and ready to go on Saturday night. Yeah, I just want to say thanks so much for this opportunity. To all the Irish people letting us be here, see all of you, all the girls, like yesterday, and they, they love it. And when they love it, I love it as well. And this opportunity, just imagine, it's going to be an epic fight. I like Sky, you know, but this is business and I'm here to win. You saw you take a, a really late notice fight against Michaela Meyer up at a heavyweight class, well beyond your weight division. And you gave a great account of yourself. Didn't take a step back in that fight, pushed her all the way. And now back down with a full camp and at your weight division. Must be much more happier with the notice given for this challenge. Yeah, it was a great fight, wasn't it? Um, Michaela May, she's, um, she's fantastic. And, uh, but yeah, I, I gave her a good fight. Um, now I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be in featherweight. I've been there for many years. So this, this is my division. And um, I'm here to take over. Thanks, Lucy. Sky, fight number nine for you. A fight that a lot of people are talking about as, as competitive and people giving Lucy a chance in the fight, which is, is good. I know it's what you wanted, but... Had a great camp and, and ready to go on Saturday. Yeah, I feel unbelievable. Definitely the fittest, strongest, best prepared I've been for a fight. So definitely not overlooked Lucy in this fight at all. I think she's a great athlete. Um, but we're going to see the difference in levels on Saturday night. Obviously, we talk about the potential mandatory with, with Serrano. A lot of people talking about that. But I know you've been focused on just this challenge. Dangerous fight for you. And, and it's all irrelevant if you don't come through Saturday. Yeah, of course. Full focus on Saturday night. Uh, we can look at the Serrano fight after this, but um, got to get the job done this Saturday first. WBC interim world featherweight title on the line. We go to the heavyweights now. A man that last time lit up the three arena. 
uh, and this time looking very smart, Thomas Carty against Dan Garber. Dan, welcome as well. Um, we know you're bang up for it. We know you're in tremendous shape as well. Ready for a, a great action fight on Saturday. You are going to love this atmosphere because there ain't no party like a Thomas Carty party, that's for sure. I don't even know if I got that. Don't even know if I got that right, Tom, to be fair. But no Carty, no party. That's the one. That's but the one. Dan, um, big moment for you on Saturday night. Ready to, to throw bombs against this young heavyweight. That's right, Eddie. I mean, I just have to say, you know, thanks for the opportunity. Uh, Thomas has looked fantastic in all his fights. You know, I know what I'm up against. He looks a great boxer. He's done all that's asked of him. I mean, I'm coming off a first round knockout of an unbeaten opponent. I've had six week notice for this. So, I mean, probably the best shape of my life. You know, sparring's been fantastic. I've had top level sparring with big southpaws like Thomas himself. So I'm going at this fight full of confidence. There's no pressure on me whatsoever. All the pressure's on this man to his right. So, like I say, I'm not here to make up the numbers. I'm here to spoil this party. So pressure tonight. makes diamonds. That's what we want. Dan, uh, the great thing about the heavyweight division is everybody's got a shot. I mean, I know you are the underdog going into this fight, but like you say, coming off a big knockout win, two guys. Thomas loves to get involved. He loves to fight as well. You know you're going to have opportunities. You're going to have openings in this fight. Literally one, one punch can just completely change your career. You beat this guy on Saturday, you're going to land a massive fight for, for a lot of money. So everything on the line for you? Well, that's it. Like I say, I mean, I don't fear getting in with anybody. Uh, this is the reason I took the fight. This is what I've been waiting for. Like I say, it's the first time I've been in a ring with no pressure on myself. You know, no one expects me to win on Saturday. The only people who believe I can win are myself, my trainer and my manager. And you know, they're the only people I need to believe I can win. So like I say, I'm going to Saturday, going to Saturday full of confidence. And like I say, may the best man win. You know, Thomas has got my full respect. Like I say, I've watched all his fights. He looks the part. He's got a great jab. You know, we both south pause. So we'll see how it goes on Saturday night. Cheers, Dan. Thomas, looking tremendous down there. Very Almost handsome. better than you, Eddie. No, don't get silly. But um, <laughs> very handsome down there. And, and, you know, last time was incredible. I mean, all of you guys came out. And you're going to witness this on Saturday night. It's, it's just amazing. Gary's ring walk last time. Yours, Pat. I mean, it's just breathtaking. Obviously... Last time was, was a, a good step up for you against Jay McFarlane. Another tough opponent this time, a southpaw as well. But looking like you're ready, all business for Saturday night. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm really looking forward to it, you know. Dan is a tough test um, on paper, you know. He's five wins, one loss. I think he's just came off a four-round knockout. Um, if I'm on the trajectory that I'm on and that I think I'm on and that everybody else tells me I'm on, Dan is just another stepping stone, and I'm going to stand on his head Saturday night to get past him. You saw a great build-up with, with Jay McFarlane, and he had a, a good go. And you know, It's difficult in that atmosphere, isn't it, in the arena, and to just hold your head. But you've got that experience now. It was like nothing else you, you've probably ever experienced walking out for that last fight. And there were times in the fight where you, know, you probably were over-eager and you were trading up, but we know that's how you like to fight as well. You like to entertain, but... Tell us a little bit about that atmosphere last time and what you expect again on Saturday. Yeah, anybody that was there last time seeing the atmosphere, it was breathtaking to be completely honest. When I walked, I remember walking out for the walkout and looking out and it was just a sea of green and you could see people going crazy. Irish fans are nuts, by the way. You know that. They're crazy. So uh, really looking forward to seeing it this time. I think the atmosphere will be better this time. Um, you know, Katie's on the get back this time. You know, we're eager this time. Everybody's eager to get the win. So I'm really looking forward to Saturday night and seeing what this guy can bring to the table. He's saying he's got great sparring with southpaws and that. I hope he has because everybody always has an excuse when I beat them. You know, they were drunk in the ring or something like something along those lines. So hopefully he did have a great camp. There's no excuse to Saturday night after I beat him. Well, thanks, Thomas and Dan. Of course, Ireland against England, of course, like the main event. And now two Ireland against England clashes. These are two tremendous fights. I'm telling you now, Paddy Donovan against Danny Bull is a brilliant, brilliant fight. You've got a young prospect in Paddy Donovan that everyone's been talking about. Andy Lee's been driving me mental about this kid. He's got everything. He's the future. And Danny Bull is one of those fighters that come from humble beginnings of, of his you know, amateur and professional career, came up, took a chance on a TV show, was outstanding, won every single round to come and stop his opponent, a very, very good fighter. I see this fight as a 50-50 fight. Sorry, Paddy, I know you don't. But Danny Ball is massively underrated. It is a huge opportunity for Danny Ball. He wins this fight. He puts himself in all the big domestic fights, European fights. And I know him and his team and Errol are coming to win 
on Saturday night. And Danny, we'll start with you. Um, last time out, you won so easily, so comfortably in that fight. This is a level beyond that, but you're ready for the big step up, ready for the big show, ready for the atmosphere, everything for you on Saturday night. Yeah, definitely. I'll, uh, I'll soak it all up on the nose. Um, I enjoy fighting away. I've done it a couple of times now and the, uh, the odds are always against me, but I still come out on top. Um, I've had great preparation for this, so I'm ready for it. You know, Paddy Donovan, very skilled, very flashy, you know, never really been tested by someone who's looking to step him on his back foot. I know you can punch as well. It's got a great clash of styles on Saturday. But yeah, that's it. The last time you saw me fight, I, uh, I didn't have to go through the gears. I boxed behind my jab. I did what I had to do, made it easy work. I just cho kept chopping away. Um, so we'll see something different this time, a different style of me. Um, I'm, like Connor says, I'm ready to bring the ding-dong from the black country to Dublin. And finally, what a chance, what an opportunity. You win this fight on away soil. Just massive, massive fights out there for you. Oh, yeah, and I'm ready for it. That's what I want. Uh, um, not looking fast, Paddy. We're a big win here. Hopefully, I'll get something in plan then for the new year. Paddy, welcome. Um, this is so exciting because, as you said, and I said previously with, with Andy Lee, people talk about how good young fighters are, but we never really know until you step up the levels. This is it on Saturday night where you get to show the world how good you are. Yeah, first of all, I'd like to thank you, Eddie, Matchroom and The Zone um, for bringing another amazing show to Ireland. I've got a good fight ahead of me and Danny Ball, I really respect them. But um, yeah, I believe this is a stepping stone for me in my career. I believe I'm on the, the way to be a boxing world champion. I've got all Ireland behind me. I've got the back ends. Um, I know how good I am and what I can do. A lot of people are saying that I haven't been tested. It's because I don't let no person test me, no fighter that gets in the ring, never gets close to me. I do. I feel invincible when I'm in there, so I'm ready to put on another show come Saturday night. Do you think this man is is the man to test you? You expect a tough fight on Saturday? We gotta see. You know, he's never fought someone like me, and I don't think he ever will. So, look, I respect him. He's a good, durable fighter, um, but he's up against a world-class fighter, no doubt about it. Tremendous sparring for you as well. I've seen on Instagram Adam Azim and other fighters as well. You've, you've had great preparation. No excuses coming into this one. No excuses. 12-week camp put down some of the best sparring in the world and Adam Azim um, travelled for that sparring, world-class rounds. So I'm in the best shape possible, in great condition, um, really, really well schooled for this, come up with a great game plan and ready to execute it come Saturday night. Well, brilliant, brilliant fight, Paddy Donovan against Danny Ball. And what about this one? Gary Cully against Reese Mole. What a cracker. Last time out, I mean, I, I, I couldn't believe it. I guess you guys couldn't believe it. The whole arena couldn't believe the loss for Gary Cully. He went away. He left Ireland to go and train in Liverpool with Joe McAnally. Made plenty of sacrifices for this one. But in no uncertain terms, this is career on the line stuff on Saturday night for Gary Cully. Didn't want an easy fight. Wanted to come back and test himself. And he does against Reese Mole. One defeat on his record to Lee Wood. Starved down at featherweight, really. I tell you, the team, you know, Josh Warrington, Maxie Hughes, everybody here, 100% believe that this is a victory for Reese Mold on Saturday night. And what an opportunity for him to just push himself up the world rankings. He's world ranked. Gary Cully's looking to get back into contention for bigger fights at world level as well. This is a brilliant 50-50 fight. Reese, we'll start with you. Um, when we made this fight, you know, you couldn't, you said, I think you'd, one of your quotes, you couldn't quite believe your luck, that you got this opportunity. You've wanted this fight for a long time. Yourself, your team, everybody truly believe this is your time on Saturday night. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're very confident in this fight. And we're not confident just because uh, of Gary's last fight. We've been watching Gary for a while now. And uh, we actually got this fight offered to us at the start of the year, but we don't, I know Gary says he's only taking this fight because he's seen my last def uh, defeat, but I'd actually already got a fight planned in. It was three months out, uh, three weeks out, or already fighting, and uh, so I wasn't prepared to give my first uh, defence my title up just to fight Gary. We know we were confident of coming through that. We're hoping Gary was going to come through his and we would have got it on them, but it didn't work out like that. And, but we're here today and uh, we're very, very confident in what we're going to do. You see his last performance, you know, before there, you know, looked very, very razor sharp, a lot of early stoppages. You see that fight, do you think that it's a good time or a bad time to fight Gary Cully? I mean, obviously he's going to be 
a fire in the belly to come back from that defeat, but also back at the same venue, at the same time. You know, there's, there's a lot of horrible memories to overcome on Saturday. Yeah, uh, there's not many top, top fighters, really, what come through defeats like this and bounce back. And uh, like Gary's already told you, coming into this, he's, he's fighting himself on Saturday night. But it really, is he's not fighting himself, he's fighting me as well. He's fighting to win there Saturday night. He's going to have a lot of demons going into this. And anyone who doesn't tell you that, what's come out of a defeat like he has, is going to tell you a lie. And uh, that's one of the reasons why we're so, so confident in this. You've come through the weights. I know back, I mean, can't believe you used to make featherweight. And, you know, I know that was a horrible experience for you now. But you are fighting a huge 135 pounder. You're going to be nice and strong. He's going to have to make that weight tomorrow as well. But confident against this tall, big, lightweight that you've got the goods. I know Josh and Sean and the team believe you win this fight by stoppage. But, but happy at 135 pounds. We've seen your best performances up at that weight. Yeah, very happy. I mean, uh, I know what it's like to be in there when you're struggling that way and it's all being, you're sparring well and stuff, but you haven't sparred tw 24 hours before you've just made the weight and uh, I know what effects it has on you and uh, I'm sure that's going to have an effect on Gary in his fight on Saturday night. Well, Gary, welcome. I mean, you know, I think we've only spoken via social media since that, that last defeat. Um, a lot of people probably still getting over it. Presume you're over it, ready to go, ready to put it behind you. But another massive, massive fight, another massive moment for you on Saturday night. Yeah, I've put in the camp of my life. Um, I've obviously relocated over with Joe McNally and Declan O'Rourke over in the Rotunda in Liverpool now. And uh, I've put in the camp of my life over there. I've, I've went through some dark times. Um, I've learned a lot about myself. I've learned a lot. In, uh, in the ring and outside the ring and I'm ready to get back to where I belong and back to winning ways on Saturday night. I know Reese kind of stoked the fire there about you, you know, you can't get over that in this kind of time, but do we know if you have or do we just find out on Saturday night when you make that ring walk again, when you see those memories flash before you, you're confident that that's in the past now and ready to put it right on Saturday? Look, I'm a fighter. These things happen if, if Reese's memory is any good. The last time he was in a matchroom ring, he was on oxygen tanks, breathing through oxygen tanks when Lee Wood sparked him. I was stopped on my feet, you know, so um, he's been there before as well. He knows what it feels like, so we'll I'll see on Saturday night. I've been, I've been able to come through. You, you're yet to show that, though. I'll show you Saturday night, mate. You Don't won't. worry about it. He <laughs> wants to get up and talk about weight as well. He's fucked at the weight. He's up here looking fat and skinny all at the same time, so I'm sound on the way. I'm good. Um, I'm ready to put on a performance on Saturday night and take him to school. Your team's not that confident because there's a rematch clause in this as well and uh, you obviously didn't take the rematch with Felix and uh, so I don't think you're as confident as what your team are in you either. You will see Saturday. I will see you, right. Gary, finally, last one to you. <laughs> I think last time, did we all get a bit carried away? I mean, you know, that last fight week, I remember sitting in JD with you and we're doing this Q&A and you're doing all this media all week and it was the big homecoming and... Kind of felt like a little bit of the same for Katie, but you've taken a real step back this camp. You've keeping a low profile and, and just really shows you the stark realities of, of boxing, how tough it is and how switched on you've got to be. Yeah, I think we were all partying before we got the results. You know, I was talking to Katie's mom yesterday and we were talking about the same thing. Everybody was here for a celebration and big time boxing was back in Ireland and all of this, but... I've took my way, myself away from that this time round. I've, like I said, I've been in Liverpool the last 12 weeks. I've been cycling to the gym in my, in my hat and my scarf in the cold mornings. I've been living in a single room and it's humbled me a bit, you know. I've brought myself back to, to where I come from at 15, 16 years of age. That kind of hunger and that chip on my shoulder that I've got something to prove and uh, that's what I'm doing on Saturday night. I've got in and got to get in and prove to all these people but also prove to myself what I can do. Just finally to you two. Reese. you talked about that weight and how tough it's going to be with Gary. You talked about the demons. You see yourself winning this fight inside the distance on Saturday? Yeah, definitely. I don't, I don't think uh, Gary Cully will see the final bell. Gary, predictions for Saturday night? I'm going to put on a master class of boxing. I'm going to follow my coach's instructions. If the knockout comes, the stoppage comes, the stoppage comes. Um, but it's a Gary Cully victory all day long. Well, it's a massive fight for you and your career. It's a massive fight for Irish boxing. A tremendous undercard 
on Saturday night in what will be a sold out three arena live on the zone around the world. As we said, our before the bell action, the professional debut of Giorgio Vizioli, John Cooney against Liam Gaynor, Jamie Morrissey against Emmett Brennan, two brilliant all Irish action. One of the best 130 pounders in the world, Zelfa Barrett, Back in action, the main card, Sky Nicholson defends her WBC interim world title against Lucy Wildheart. Look out for the big heavyweight clash, Dan Garber against Thomas Carty. And two tremendous fights for you, Ireland against England as well. Paddy Donovan against Danny Bull. And this one's going to be a classic cracker. Gary Cully against Reese Mould. We're going to face off everybody here now before we move to the main event presser. Thank you.